G'day, today on Garage It Yourself, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your petrol driven compressor or generator run quieter. So let's have a look how I did that. Welcome back to Garage It Yourself everyone, the channel dedicated to the budget DIY car enthusiast. Today I'm going to be taking a look at petrol driven compressors, generators and pressure washers and how to make them quieter. Now you may have already seen other people do similar videos using a car muffler to try and make their generator or compressor run quieter with little effect. And you, therefore you're thinking, well, why would this be any different? So what I'm going to do is do the video back to front and do a before and after comparison first and then do the how to actually do things afterwards. To do the test, I'm going to be utilizing just an old smartphone, uh, which happens to have a free decibel meter application installed on it. And then I'll just hold that the industry one meter away from the device with the new exhaust. And then I'll pop the old exhaust back on. And uh, hopefully this should uh, show the difference. Fingers crossed. So let's start this sucker up and um, do the test. Okay, so as you saw there with the test, that was like pretty definitive that <clears throat> on the sound meter, the old original exhaust was about six decibels louder than what the uh, modified exhaust that I made is. Six decibels because it's a logarithmic scale basically means that it's uh, four times as loud because every three decibels is a doubling in the amplitude of the sound wave. So it's quite a, a drastic difference in the sound level there. And then you're probably wondering, well, why is it that what I've done worked, whereas the other people that have tried with car mufflers, uh, that theirs didn't work? They were on the right tracks, but basically what it comes down to is they sized incorrectly in very simple terms. You've got to think of the amount of exhaust gas that an engine is creating and you have to size the exhaust correctly to be able to channel, dissipate and absorb the energy of that exhaust. So if you take the mufflers that they've been using, they would be from a two litre engine upwards to some V8 more than likely. <clears throat> and this is only a 210 cc engine. So you, if you think of it volumetrically, the amount of exhaust gas that this is creating is so much smaller than what the two liter or, or higher capacity engine would be and because the exhausts are designed to handle the energy of a certain size engine then putting a large exhaust onto a small engine it's basically like 
you might as well not have the, the muffler on there. It's like you're just venting directly to atmosphere because it's not be, the gases aren't being channeled, they're not being dissipated properly and they're not being absorbed properly. So that's why using the larger exhaust didn't work, whereas this did. The exhaust in question, uh, I went looking on Gumtree and I managed to find a Vespa exhaust from a 250cc Vespa, which obviously is a little bit larger than what the engine is, but it's not that much larger. Probably if I'd got like one from a, if there's a 300cc scooter or moped, um, it may not have worked as well. And also conversely, if you decided to stick a 150cc muffler onto here, then there's a likelihood that you'd end up overheating and damaging the engine because the 150ccs wouldn't be able to properly flow the exhaust from the 210cc engine. So it's a bit of a balancing act. So that's the science behind it. That's why this one ended up working is because I basically used a scooter exhaust that was the correct size for the engine of this compressor. So then the last thing really is just an explanation as to how I constructed the exhaust. Fabricating and mounting the exhaust was pretty easy. There's not too much to it, so long as you've got a welder, then it's like you'll be fine. Um, the first thing was mounting it. <coughs> as you can see here, these are the original two mounting points for the Vespa exhaust. And so all I did there, well, it's got some round stock, solid steel stock, and then just roughly found the center of it and just drilled and tapped it for bolts of the correct size. In this case, I think it was like M12, 1.25. And um, then <coughs> welded them on. Uh, the top one, I just put a strengthening gusset on just to make sure that uh, it was able to support the weight properly and have it hang there. And then the next thing, it's a bit of six mil plate. Uh, that's just so that you can make a new, so you can make a new flange. And the rest was just some thin wall tube of the correct diameter to what the uh, Vespa exhaust was. And because I don't have a pipe bender, like if you've got like a plumber's pipe bender, then, you know, that'll make it so much easier. So as I don't have a pipe bender, I had to uh, use a different method for getting the angles on the pipe that I required. And that just was basically using pie cut method. Um, so you put the, the pipe on there, I tacked it onto the, the flange whilst it was uh, connected to the engine, had the muffler already installed down there, and uh, then it was just joining the dots and uh, pie cutting the pipe as necessary to be able to make the curves and the bends to be able to mate it all back up and make it into an exhaust system. Simple as that really. So yeah, fabricating and mounting the exhaust it's just like basic fabrication skills. Like I said, as long as you've got a welder, then you should be like fine doing this. Um, if you're not comfortable with welding to the tank itself, then um, you can try mounting it to the plates that the compressor and the uh, engine mount to. Um, I myself was perfectly fine with doing that. But like I said, if, if you're not, then try and find some other way to mount the exhaust to the compressor. And there you go, how to make your compressor run quieter, fit a Vespa exhaust to it, or similar. So I hope you found that useful, and apologies for there not being an in-depth how-to guide on actually fabricating the exhaust. But like I said, it's pretty basic um, fabrication skills. Uh, if you can do metal work, then you'll be able to do this very easily. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you like that. If you do, please press the like button. Uh, if you enjoy what I get up to, then please subscribe. And if you think other people will find what I'm getting up to interesting, then please share the video around. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.